The people of Constantinople may keep their possessions. There will be no looting. In return, you will open the gates of the city and kiss the hands of our Sultan. Sultan Mehmet will be the one ruler of the Romans. Today is going to be fun. Now, we are here to torment. We have to torment with the truth. Because it has been revealed, even in the scriptures, that the last days will be like the days of Lot. And it will be like the days of Noah. Think about what was going on in the days of Lot. Think about what was going on in the days of Noah. And right now, the whole world would have been destroyed if I wasn't here. Now, Allah revealed that to me. That this whole world would have already been into the judgment. If he did not lengthen the day for me. So I'm going to try my best to go slow and use the desktop so we can show y'all these scriptures these references references rather and these pictures so let's get that real quick let me do a screen share if you don't want to listen to this you hate god you hate god i encourage you to just hang on with me and listen to this because i have some goodies for you today so let me get a screen share going on All right, here we go. I show my face in the place today. Normally, I don't. Normally, I don't. But, hey, I'm not hiding who I am as well. Okay? I am the face of Islam. So, right on your screen, as you can see, let's do a screen share. Make sure we got it. Yeah, we got it. All right, yeah, we are doing the screen share, so y'all can see it right here. Yeah, right now you see Denzel Washington. Now, Denzel Washington, hands down, this man has been my twin. He has been my twin. Maybe you don't see it because of the hair, but in my days growing up, for my wife and many other people, um, they all told me Denzel has been my twin. Now, let's look at um, Denzel Washington. The man was born, let's see. Let me get my other um, safari out. Because I want to show you all these infallible proofs. Okay, Denzel Washington. I believe he was born in December. Denzel Washington. All right, the man was born in December. He plays in a lot of masculine roles, especially his later um, latter movies. Um, he is a picture of the Black Maddie. Okay, now he's born in December. My initials is. DLC, I go by DC, like Washington, DC. You're going to see that all things testify to me now. A lot of you might be thinking, okay, this dude has got a huge ego. No, no, no. Okay, this is the torment. Because if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be here right now. This is the torment. Now, when Jesus was saying, I'm this, and I'm that, and I'm this, and I'm that, and I'm this, and I'm that, you guys had no problem with that. Well, the voice that was in the prophet Isa is here, okay? And just like in the days of John the Baptist, John the Baptist's ministry had to decrease, and the prophet Isa, or we call him Jesus, his ministry increased. Same thing with Saul and David. Saul's ministry decreased when David arrived because David's ministry increased. And right now, 
the ministry of even the prophet Muhammad, the Arabic prophet Muhammad, his ministry is decreasing. All these men ministries are decreasing because al Mahdi is here. And now his ministry is increasing. So this is not pride. This is not ego. This is simply how God wants to torment the nations. And you'll see this in the book of Revelation where it brings out the last two witnesses on how they tormented. Not only did they torment them with fire, they tormented them. Why? Because everything revolved around this witness. Now, I don't want to throw too much on you with the other witness, okay? Let's, let's, just, let's just stay focused on this. This man, Denzel Washington, is a picture of me. Okay, he looks just like my dad. His last name is Washington, which is my mother's uh, father's name, Washington. <laughs> um, this was the apartment I moved in when I met Maria. We was in Washington Gardens when a lot of this stuff started being revealed to me in this and on on a whole nother level. When I stayed in Washington Gardens, so much stuff came to me. All those stuff has been coming to me my whole life, okay? Not only that, Washington is going into um, the Washington, D.C. This is the real president you're going to see shortly. This is the real president of the earth, Mr. Washington. Right now, I have two jobs. I'm not ashamed to say it. I, um, I'm a landscaper. And then on the side, I cook and I wash dishes, okay? I'm going to go from washing dishes to Washington, D.C., okay? So just look at that. This wasn't even in my notes, but I just wanted to show you all that, all right? He's born in D.C. That's going into D.C. This is all testifying of me. Now, in his movie, The Book of Eli, the story revolves around Eli, a nomad in a post apocalyptic world who seeks to deliver his copy of a mysterious book to a safe location on the west coast of the United States. This is in Mexico. You're going to see New Mexico. Filming began in February 2009 and took place in New Mexico. Okay. Now, right now, I am a part of a Mexican family, okay? And let's keep going down. 30 years, matter of fact, not only am I a part of a Mexican family, um, my brother and my two sisters, who I did not even know until like eight, eight, nine years ago, about nine, ten years ago, because I had just met my dad, Monty, uh, he passed, um, and I got a brother and two sisters in New Mexico. So could you imagine how my wife was looking at me? She's like, dang, you got brothers and sisters in New Mexico, and you got a Mexican wife, and you know what I mean? So just look, look, you're going to see how all this stuff testifies to me. And this is the torment. This is the torment. You're going to see it. Watch this. 30 years after war turned the world into a wasteland, a lone warrior named Eli. What's significant about the 30 years? Why? Because I am a true prophet. And I told you guys that 2034 is the end. I know it's true. I was in my kitchen on September the 16th, 2024, putting on my boots, my boots, and I heard deep within myself, you know your mama died when you was nine. Automatically, I knew that the Maddie had nine years to reign. And I knew from that day, that was my clock. Because Al Matty is a Noah, and we're going to get to that. He is a man that's just like Lot, whom Allah is rescuing before the judgment comes. So we're going we're gonna to come back to this 30 years. You're going to see it. Denzel Washington, 
See the D, just like D, Daquan. Marches across the ruined landscape. Now, when I came to California, I came here in March. March of 2020. Carrying hope for humanity's redemption, only one other man, Gary Oldman, understands the power of what Eli carries, and he is determined to take it for himself. Now, let's keep going. As you can see, he has the bow. Now, look at me. Look at this. Look at that. Right there. I had no idea of none of this stuff. I wasn't copying nothing. It's just everything I'm doing. Allah is always ahead of me. The angels are always ahead of me. They're paving my way. You see the 34? I didn't know about this, this, the world ending in 2034 when I had this, mens this uh, scripture for my statement. The certain man who spotted Ahab, okay, and that's going into the man who um, found out that Paul was the wolf in sheep clothing, okay? This is just God ordering my steps. The Bible says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Okay, so now let's go back to my notes. 34, there it is. 34. See the bow. Okay, there. You, that, that's me. Look at that. That's me. Okay. Now watch this. Daquan Lamonte Clay is my name. The die in Daquan is going into the potion that is in my loins to raise up the 12 tribes of Israel. According to Isaiah 49 and 6, the Israelites will be begotten. All over again. God is going to use one man to bring forth the 12 tribes of Israel all over again. And that's Al Maddy. That's why I was in Diana, Indiana. My name is Di Daquan, and he is what? What's the name? Al Maddy. This is the Di. I have the Di. Okay. Now, not not necessarily that I'm going to have to die too. I'm not talking about the dying part. I'm talking about this potion that is in my loins to restart the 12 tribes of Israel. Then you can spell agua. That's going into the living water. Now, remember, Jesus talked about the living water at the well with this woman of Samaria. Okay. And that's going into a whole nother topic. Then you have la, that's Latin for the. Al in Latin is the. See that in my name? La. The Ammon. Now, if you study your Bible, you'll see that there is a man by the name of Ammon. And I'll scroll down, see if I got it right here. There's a man by the name of Ammon. And this man could not be slain. See, Ammon, right there. And they answered the king and said, Whether he be the great spirit or man, we know not. But this much we do know, that he cannot be slain by the enemies of the king. Neither can they scatter the king's flock when he is with us because of his expert expertness and great strength. Therefore, we know that he is a friend to the king. And now, O king, we do not believe that a man has such great power. For we know that he cannot be slain. So, if you read the Book of Mormon, there is a man mentioned, and his name is Ammon. And this man was bad. You could not kill him. And people called him the great spirit. This is going into the pure spirit. This is going into the Holy Spirit. Now, why... Do this man has to have this power because God is going to use this man to clean up the earth. He's going to use this man to clean up the earth. So therefore, this man has to be protected for a certain amount of time. OK, nine years. OK, so now let's go back up. All right. Going back to my name who cannot be slain. We went through that. Al Maddy, look at Al Maddy, Lamonte, Almighty. God and the God of the Bible is called Almighty. And it was revealed to me that Al Maddy is the Father, that He is the God of the Bible who became a man.
Okay, he is the real lamb. He is the father of the prophet Esau. Jesus said his father was greater than him. Okay, and many of you don't know because y'all don't study. According to the Bible, Jesus said he had a father who was greater than him. And it's not Allah because Allah has no sons. This father only makes sense to be al Mahdi. Look in al Mahdi's name. You got dad. Okay, and you got, if you want, you could say ma. Okay, now this is also going into the last two witnesses. And that, that'd that be too much for you. That'd be too much for you. But along with the prophet Isa's death, we have the death of the last two witnesses. Okay? There are some things that's going to take place. Because you fail to realize that we had a chief father and we had a chief mother. The two heirs. And these last two witnesses have to die. And that'd be too much for you. Now we want to deal with the mountain. Lamonti, my name means mountain. It means the mountain. And my dad, before he passed, I was able to meet him. I didn't even know I had a dad. Okay? And I looked just like him. Just like him. And his name means mountain, but my name means the mountain. And my last name is Clay. That's going into the earth because God made Adam from clay. The earth is also going into the ear. The man who can hear. Okay. I am the real Muhammad Ali. Look at this. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Okay. Look at this. And we're going to deal with something else on this picture. Also, the A-N-T is going into the ant. Okay. If you read the Quran, there's an ant that talked. And it talked about Solomon. Also, Ant is going into anointed. I am anointed. Now, the memory that I have on all the books is a gift from God. That's why you, you, can't, you can't compete with me. You can't. Now, I used to get on people about studying so much, but then I had to realize that I have a gift. Okay, there's some people who can study. We all can study, but some people we just uh, we just have this gift from God, and God bless me with a memory, and that's going into the broad forehead and the big nose that Al Matty has is more than just the physical features. Now, Muhammad Ali. Okay, look at this. He has a comforter. And this comforter is also going into things you many people don't know. Not even my wife knows. But I had some of the most terrible, terrible. Let me quit talking so loud. I get excited and that messes up the sound quality. Um, I had some of the most terrible dreams. I had some of the most terrible dreams. And you know what? I don't even really tell nobody. I done had some dreams, man. I still won't tell you. But I'm victorious. Okay? Allah sees me. He loves me, y'all. I'm not trying to rub it in your face, man. But I am loved by God. Extremely. Now, look at this comforter. Now, this comforter is also going into um, the comforter. Jesus promised about a comforter. He promised about a Holy Spirit. Now, I told you all before. That when I came to earth in 1982, May 1982, the 13th, the M, the 13th letter of the alphabet. When I came down here, let me tell you something. I remember coming down and I remember the conversation, pieces of it, that my mom had with the doctor. I literally came inside of the hospital room and... I honestly seen it. I, and, and you know what? And I that always bothered me. But now I understand. It's because I came from heaven. Just like the black cobblestone that was originally white. It came down from heaven. I might have lost some of you. But in the religion of Islam, the, the black stone they kissed, it was originally white. And it came down here from heaven. 
And it was used to absorb the sins of the people. That's why it became black. This same stone is on the corner of the Kaaba. Okay? People are kissing it because they believe it's taking away their sins. This is a picture of the last and final messenger, the real Muhammad, al Mahdi. I came down here. Okay? Now, what's so amazing is when my wife, when we started dating, okay? Now, they picked me out. Her and her kids picked me out. Now, in the picture, I was in all white. I was at the bar, okay? This has always been my party. I was at the bar, and I had a picture of being all white, okay? And they looked at that picture, and that was the one of the pictures that she picked me for, from that picture, okay? That's a picture of me coming down from heaven, okay? Now, when you look, and I'm going to show you something else on the screen to help you. I've been divinely protected my whole life. Allah has been protecting me through the ways he does. Now, I'm going to show you something else that should help you. It should definitely help you. I got a lot of pictures, a lot of pictures I do my videos on. But I'll just go online since I don't see it right away. Let me see if I can find it. I'll go. Yeah, there it is right here. Here we go. Here we go. Let's open this picture. Let y'all see it. All right. So on this picture, and I really want y'all to see the whole dang thing. All right. It's literally a GIF. Let me just go online and get a better one for y'all. Bear with me. Bear with me. I'm going to show you how this divine protect, this me being divinely protected works. Oh, I'm stumbling a lot today. All right, let me get this for you. Um, killing of the firstborn Jif. All right, let me show y'all something, what I mean. I'll just put killing of the firstborn. Hmm. Oh, here we go. This is a little bit better. Let's get that. All right. So, as y'all can see, look at this. Here we go. This is what I wanted to show y'all. This is what I wanted to show y'all right here. You see that thing moving? Let's see if we can get a bigger picture of it. Yeah, here we go, right here. Now, look at that. Look at that. Now, this right here is the blood of the Lamb. And so, the blood of the Lamb is so innocent and so precious that death cannot take whoever has this blood down until a certain amount of time. Okay, that's what happens every time death came for me. That's exactly what it did. I remember one time I drove to work and I had a fifth of something, man. Not even really a drinker, man, but I was, you know, drinking with my weed or whatever, man. I don't even know how I got to work. All I know is I got outside and looked at the car and it was all damaged up on the side. When I was a kid, I fell into a pool, man, pulled me up by my head. I've been robbed a couple times growing up in the streets. Okay, the death always had to do this to me. Right now, this is what death does to me. Now, I know I have this power, but I'm not going to tempt the Lord. The Lord is going to bring me forth at the day when it's time. Okay, this is how I'm going to have success and able in order to clean up this entire earth. Look at that. 
This is what death does to the real Uriah. Remember, Uriah was a Hittite, and Hittite comes from Heth. And Heth is the number eight, okay? And it looks just like a door. And the blood of Uriah is really the blood of the lamb. And Uriah is seen in the life of al Mahdi. The real al Mahdi is divinely protected because this man was in heaven the whole time. And I came down here now. I still got a whole bunch to go. And I got this prepared while I was at work. But that's just amazing. Every time I'm praying, God is just answering my, answering my prayers and he's showing me. Because I was just wondering, like, how am I going to be divinely protected? Because that's exactly what the spirit of death is going to do. It's going to get the hell out the way. So here we have the comforter. This this man who is the real Al Matty, his he will have clay. My last name is Clay. This is Cassius. This is the real man that all the money belongs to. And he comes from Fort Wayne. I'm from Fort Wayne. I am from Fort Wayne. Get it? Four. The man who knows the end. 34. The real comforter is a black man. The real Holy Spirit is not Muhammad. The real Holy Spirit is al -Mahdi. Now, don't get caught up on this man living a perfect, 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 perfect life. No, this man came down here from heaven. He came down here from glory. That's why he's the Holy Spirit. That's why he's the pure spirit. Jesus said, whatever you say about me will be forgiven. But whatever you say about the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven in this world or in the world to come. Now, look at that. That's amazing. That is so amazing. All right. The Comforter, the Holy Spirit. Keep in mind, I'm from the Fort Wayne. Okay. Fort Wayne, Indiana. The best fighter. Okay. Float like a butterfly. Why? Because I descended down here. And I sting like a bee because there's some things that's going to take place that's going to hurt some people's feelings. Okay, I'm already hurting the Arabians that their Matty is black. Woo wee! Okay, their Arabian women are going to have to submit to me. That's going to hurt. That's going to hurt an Arab's man's feelings. Okay, I am the black stone you've been kissing this whole time. Now, that's going to bring a lot of pain. That's why Muhammad Ali said, I float like a butterfly and I sting like a bee. I came down here from heaven. Okay. Now, we already talked about Ammon. Now, watch this. In Islam, we are told to fight against those who don't believe in the last day. I am the last day. Look at my initials. DLC. Last day. Last day. I am the last day. I am the man who knows the end. Okay. I know the end. 2034. Okay, I am the richest man on the planet. I am the truest prophet on the planet right now. Jesus said, no man knows the day or the hour except my father, which is in heaven. At that time, I was in heaven. But when the father comes down here, he knows the end. Okay, we are told to fight against those who don't believe in the last day. You're all supposed to be fighting. With everybody who doesn't believe in me right now. I am the last day. I am the last dawn. I am the last die. Now let's look at these letters and do some numerology. Now, I study not only the Bible, not only the Quran, not only the Book of Mormon, not only the Apocalypse. Apocalyptic letters, not only uh, the infancy gospels. Um, I study everything. I study numerology. This is how Allah has gifted me. Now, I'm going to show you some numerology. Now, numerology is this. Here we have the letter D. What number is D? D is four. It's the fourth letter of the alphabet. Now, look at L. L is 12. Okay. Now, you got to understand this. Three, four is 12. Okay. Three, four is 12. Just like 12 months. Okay, three times four is what? Twelve. Twelve represents judgment. 
12 represents judgment. And look at my name. You got 34 or 43 right there. It's in there. Okay. You got 34 in my name. I was called. Okay. To do this. I am the real Noah. You're going to see this one. Now watch this. We have DC, which equals 43. Now turn it around. That's 34. Now, because I am Al Maddie, the singer of the Lord with over 30 albums. I have over 30 albums online. All these albums, Allah is trying to tell me, boy, you are Al. Boy, you are Al. Boy, you are Al. You are Al. You living like a bum. All this stuff belongs to you. Okay? And I still couldn't see it. I still couldn't see it. Now, think about an album. We do CDs now. Okay, we used to do CDs. They trying to get away from CDs. But the CDs, look, CD. Why you seen all those CDs? You seen all those CDs all the time in the past. Why? Because that was a picture of the end. Okay, CD. You need to come and see me. Okay, I know the end. 34. CD, 34. Look at this. In other words, CDs equal 34. Now, look at my first professional album cover. I had a guy pay for all my studio time. He paid for all my, my, my um, albums to be packaged. I did my own album artwork, though. Okay? And look at it. You see God rescuing me. You see grace? I was the Noah who found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Little are you thankful. If it wasn't for me, y'all, all would have been in judgment already. This is how much God loves me. I didn't know I was this precious to him. I did not know. Okay? So look at this. This is God reaching down his hand to save me. To save me. And you can see it. Right there. This is this is even when I was a Christian. Okay? I was a Christian. And Allah saved me. He saved me. Look at that. 34. 34. 34. If it wasn't for me finding grace in Allah's eyes, we all would be destroyed right now. That's what God let me know yesterday. I've been praising him so much. Every day I'm praising him, man. I'm just praising him and praising him and tears just just well up, man. I'm just, man, I ain't never been like this. But I see how much he loves me. And this is the torment. I mean, it, it you know, you might think I got an ego, but this is how God wants to show you how you're not supposed to put a son above a father. This is the judgment of Christianity. Okay, God is doing all this for me. Okay, to show y'all how wrong y'all was in Christianity. Y'all been honoring a son above a father. All that stuff y'all put on Jesus, boomerang, then came right back to the father. Now look at this. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. See that? I made this album in 2012. 2012. And I designed a cover. Look at the scale. Okay, look at it. It looked like it spells Matty in Arabic. <laughs> now look at this. Noah in the New Testament. Let's read Luke 17, 26 through 32. And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives. They were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And the flood came, and it destroyed them all. Likewise, also, as it was in the days of Lot. They did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. In that day, he which shall be upon the housetop and his stuff in the house, let him not come down to take it away. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. Now, look, remember 
Lot's wife is telling you to remember Lot's wife. Now, let's look at the word Noah. In Greek, it's spelled no. 14, because N is the 14th letter of the alpha alphabet. Okay, then you have O, that's the 15th letter of the alphabet. So how many is that? That's 29. 14 plus 15 is 29. Plus E, E is the fifth letter of the alphabet. What is that? 34. This is 34. I'm going to put it on the screen for you, okay? This is, this, is, this is what you call really studying. Here you have the 14th letter. Then you have 15. Then you have 5. This equals what? 34. This equals 34. I am the man who knows the end. It's on my arm. It's tattooed on my arm. I'm going to show you in a minute. I'm going to show you in a minute. This is way before. I got this tattoo done way in 2016. So I had no clue. This is just Allah waking me up. Waking me up. I am the Noah. I am the Noah. He only saved eight. He only saved Heth. Heth. Okay. He only saved Uriah's house. Wow. This is deep, y'all. This is deep. He destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, saved Lot, not his wife, but the daughters. Okay? Now look at this. Noah only had eight. God is not in the multitude. If it wasn't for me, you would be dead right now. You would be in the judgment right now. So God has given me my best life right now. All of the money, everything is coming to me. Everything revolves around me. And the last two messengers, everything re revolves around the last two messengers, y'all. Y'all going to see it. Watch this stuff, man. So here we have Noah, 34. All right, right now. In Washington, D.C. Okay. Why do you think we have a Washington, D.C.? It's going down in 34. God is trying to let us know, y'all, it is over in 34. I am the Denzel. I am the book of Eli. I am the man who is going to revise the law. I am the law man. Let me show you that real quick. Hold on. I know I'm all over the place. Let's type in Lamonti. My name. Boy, I love my mama. Let's type in Lamonti. Let's see what Lamonti name means. Oh, don't stall me, hater. Don't stall me. Lamonti name meeting. Law man. Look at Google keep popping up. Look at that. I'm the law man. I am the law man. God is using me to revise the law. This is my party right now. Okay? This is me doing what I want to do. Now, am I doing everything I want to do? No. But this is my celebration. Why? Because an innocent man has to die. Okay? That's what Eli was doing. Look, go back to Eli. Let's go back to Eli. Eli rewrote the Bible. And if you look at the movie, on the shelf next to the Bible was the Quran. Everything revolves around me. Okay? Now, I'm not saying that to be arrogant, but this is the way God chooses to honor his man. Now, if you study your Bible, you go to the book of Esther. There's only two witnesses who was extremely honored. It was Mordecai and it was Esther. Okay? The last two witnesses. Okay? And, now, and that would be too much for you right now. <laughs> Look at this stuff, man. Washington, D.C. 34. 34. They even got CDC. <laughs> what do you think uh, CDC, um, the database uh, program and protecting, you know, public's health and CDC fighting disease. Look, look. The nation of Edom was on it. They was trying to tell us, look, man, y'all need to watch. 34. 2034 is over. 
2034, it is over. Let me quit getting excited. 2034 is over. Now think about it. If God lengthened the day for me. Hold on, let's get that scripture because we have a lot of people who do not read. We have a lot of people who do not read. So let's let's get some eschatology. Okay. In Islamic eschatology, the Mahdi is a messianic leader who is believed to rule for seven, eight, or nine years before the end of the world. That's me. A messianic deliverer who will fill the earth with justice and equity, restore true religion, true religion, and usher in a short golden, golden age. Now, the house I just bought right now is in Golden Hills. Everything I'm doing is just, everything is just lining up perfect for me. Now, they said the golden age would last seven, eight, or nine years. Now, it's nine years because Allah revealed that to me in my kitchen, putting on my boots, man. And a tear dropped because I knew it was true. I felt like I was slow. I always feel like I'm so slow, man. It's like I need to catch up. I'm so blind. But I still see a whole lot of stuff. Okay, now let's go down here because I want you to see the actual scripture. Let's go to the actual um, prophecy of Mahdi. So let's go on back to my desktop. Um, Mahdi. Link. Yeah, that should find it. All right, so here we go. Google want to keep popping up. I know you do. Even if a day remains for the earth, the Almighty Allah will prolong this day till my son Mahdi reappears and Isa bin Maryam descends to the earth and recites prayer. Okay, okay. This is what I'm trying to get you to say. See, if God loves me so much that he warned me of my dying day, what is going to happen to y'all? Now, if I'm dying on September the 16th, 2034, then you know it's over. You know it's over for, for you. It's over for you. He's He loved me so much that he warned me. Okay? So, that just goes to tell you. Okay? That's telling you. 2034, September the 16th. It's going down, man. It's going down. Now, I got more evidence. I got more evidence. Let's go back to my, my stuff. Here we go. CDC. All right. Now, Muslims, they don't know how to read the Hadiths. They so stuck on when it says he will be of my family OK, they can't they don't understand that it was Al Mahdi speaking through the prophet Muhammad and the real Mahdi is the ultimate Muhammad. So Al Mahdi literally said the Mahdi will be of my stock. OK, and will have a broad forehead and a prominent nose. Why a big forehead? Why a big nose? Why? Because that forehead is going into the four thirty four. This dude knows the end. And then he has a big nose because he knows, he knows, he knows. This guy knows some stuff. Now, let's go to Rich Homie Quan. Oh, yeah, let's go to Rich Homie Quan. Rich Homie Quan. Look, the Quran is my book. The Quran is my book. And this man had no idea about this. Look, look, the Quran is my book. Look at this. Look at this. This is my name on the Quran. Quan. Quan. Now let's look at a Quran. A green Quran. <laughs> Let me open up another page for you, man, so we can do it side by side real quick. A green Quran. Look at this, man. This stuff. It, look at this. Look at this. Allah told me that my name was on the cover of the Quran. 
way before I even knew about Rich Homie Quan's single uh, or his logo because I didn't listen to music like that. I didn't. I didn't. Honestly, I only made my own music until Allah started showing me that the spirit of prophecy is in the music too. So there it is. And then boom. Look at the Rich Homie Quan. Boom. Look at this. Look at this stuff, man. This is, this, look, I'm the richest homie. I'm at home. And I'm preaching. This is me. This is me. He died September. He died September. And I died September the 16th, 2034. Now let's do some more stuff on, on Rich Homie Quan. Let's go to his song. Hopefully this don't ruffle your feathers a little bit. Um... And you get uncomfortable. I just want you to listen to the main thing he says in this song. So here we go. We're going to play this real quick. Let me see if I got some sound. All right. Let's go to the sound. Yeah, now we're going to share some sound. And let's play this song real quick. This is my brother. This brother This brother lived his whole life to show me who I was. Look at this. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. Ain't that nigga you say you will. Just know that I know, I know, I know. Okay. Street. Right now, that's exactly what people saying about me. He ain't the Matty. He ain't the Matty. And look, I know. I'm Noah. I have the big nose. I know about 20, 34. Okay, I'm tormenting the world simply by showing the world how much God loves me. This is how much God loves me. Everything has my name on it. Everything. In some type of way, it is pointing to the last two witnesses. So, that's just a little bit. I don't want to hurt the Muslims' hearts by playing all of that. But he literally said, I know, I know, I know. This is the rich homie Quan. All right. Now, let's go back to my notes. All right. The Mahdi will be of my stock, meaning this man is the real Mohammed. This is the real Mohammed. Okay, this is the black Mohammed. This is the Bilal that used to wake you up. Okay, he was not talking about a white Mohammed. No, peace and blessings be upon him. No, he wasn't talking about a white Matty. No, he tells you also in the Hadiths that he will not look like me in appearance. He tells you that. You so stuck on my family, on my family, be, on my family, because this is the way we wanted to get you A-Raps for being ungrateful and for being racist. <laughs> the Black Mahdi is here. How you say, how you say, the Black Mahdi is here. This is how much God loves me. Loves me. Now watch this. Not seven years, it's nine years. Allah revealed this to me September 16, 2024, that I have nine years left. So the last day will be September 16, 2034. It's tattooed on my arm and I didn't know. One plus one plus one is three. Plus six is nine. And it happened on the 16th. Look at that. This is the most expensive Rolex in the world. Okay. I got Chantel under here covered up. Because God want me to tell Par Farrakhan something. <laughs> then I got Maria right here because you got my army or army in um, side of Mary. You can spell my army. Okay. Now you got the bars because that's going into Arab. You can spell Arab inside a bar if you use the A twice. Where's my Arab army? I am the man whom death is fleeing from right now. Okay. This is the help for Gaza. This is the help for Gaza. If you just get this truth out here. Now I know don't nobody know yet. But it's your job to get this truth out to the upper leadership. But you know once you do this. I'm on top. I'm on top. Okay. 
Three ones equal one. We went through that. Okay, it's telling you we have nine years left. A sign was seen in 9-11. The Twin Towers was a picture of the two last witnesses dying on the same day. I don't want to go into too much detail on you on that one right there. Because we still got people waking up. Okay, I woke up to who I am. Okay, and you know, we still got to get people to wake up. If you know what I'm talking about. All right. So the last two witnesses is a sign. You see that in the Twin Towers. This is going to happen uh, 2034. Look at Denzel Washington. Always around this Mexican woman. Okay. Now, it ain't every Mexican woman people might think. Now, there's a specific, specific Mexican woman, boy. And this is seen. That's why they have a Mexican president right now. Okay, one of the last day witnesses is a woman. We have a rose. We have a real Aisha. Okay, we have a real prophetess Anna, whom Allah loves, and he surprised me. Okay, Al Maddie is also one of the last two witnesses. These scholars don't have a clue. Why does it say Al Matty has a big forehead and a big nose? We went through that. Because Al Matty knows the end. He is a Noah. Think about the number four in forehead. He knows I'm from Fort Wayne. Okay? Al Matty knows 2034 is the end. Now let's go to Luke 4, 418. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He have sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind. That's the knowledge I have to set at liberty them that are bruised. And guess what else am I supposed to do to preach the acceptable year of the Lord? Who is the prophet, the real prophet who can preach the acceptable year of the Lord? Me. This was Al Maddie speaking through the prophet Isa. Y'all keep thinking that every time Jesus spoke, it was his own words. No, it was the Father speaking through him. I am the Noah. I am the rich homie Kwan. I am the Cassius Clay. I am the Muhammad Ali. I am the Denzel Washington. I am the man who knows the year of the Lord. 2034 is the acceptable year of the lord now let's keep going look at these signs now this is my little brother okay my dad uh, that raised me was messing with his mama okay so he like my stepbrother okay now this brother his name is yada the the lord has been trying to tell me look man you the maddie you the maddie you the daddy okay he does that through every person i do any music with now his name was yada the but his real name is ken Surrey. Now, if you add up K I N, okay, you got the number 34. And my brother, he was Christian at the time, and I'm pretty sure he still is. He doesn't even know, okay? He was a sign of me. <laughs> Look at his watch. I am the Yadada. I am the Yadada. I am the real Ken Surrey. Get it? Like a Surrey <laughs> in the Quran? Okay. The man Noah. I am the man Noah who has the time. That's another picture of me and him way back in the day. That's me and Yadada. Okay? He was trying to show me who I was. Everybody's trying to show me who I am. Now I have another one for you. This is an album I did called Virtual Warfare. Uh, we did mixtape one and two. Virtual Warfare. V2, 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 V2. What is all that going into? What is V going into? V2. V2. What is all of that going into? Now look at the second letter. Somebody did this thing, man. And whoever did this album cover, bless them. It's letting you know I, I have the time. Look at that. 35. Now if you do the second letter, that's a 3. And you do his second letter, that's a 4. 34. I'm the man who knows the time. Look at me. I got on a coat of many colors. Okay? I have on the coat of many colors. I'm the man that's walking around with the coat of many colors. The colors of no other. Okay? 
I'm the man. I am. I can say that because this is how Allah wants to do me. This is the punishment. This is the torment because I know the, I know a lot of people like this dude is so full of himself. This dude has got such a big ego. No, this is how God wants to do this. Remember, Jesus had to increase, right? And John the Baptist had to decrease. Well, it's the same thing. The prophet Isa has to decrease now. My son has to decrease. The Arabian prophet right now has to decrease. And guess who has to increase? al Madi. Okay, I'm increasing. Look at this stuff. This is true prophecy. This album was made back in 2012, 2011. All right? I'm the real speaker. I am. I am. Okay? I'm the real man of war. You see this. You see this. Okay? The Lord is a man of war. Okay? I am the stunner. Now, his name is Stunner. His name is Stunner. That's really me. I'm the stunner. I'm the person that's going to shock the world. <laughs> I'm about to shock the world, y'all. I'm the stunner of the SBI. Now, watch this. Watch this. His real name is Benjamin Broadway. Okay, he is the stunner. All right. And his other rap name is 700, 700, see, 700. Now, God told me to look up my hospital that I was born in. Now, watch this. I'm going to show you something, man. I'm about to show you something right now. You can't dodge it. Some of y'all probably already left, but it's all good. The truth is coming out. Fort Wayne hospital now keep in mind keep in mind Jesus had a father named Joseph he had a father named Joseph now look at the hospital I was born in I was born on 700 Broadway Fort Wayne these, the, Allah let me know. He said, they all singing about you. He said, you singing about yourself. He said, everything you keep trying to throw on Jesus, he said, you're throwing to yourself. I'm like, wow. He said, you singing about yourself. That's what you're doing. He said, everybody that's on your album, they singing about you. So here this guy, just like my brother, okay? He he was um, um, uh, Yadada, but I'm really Yadada. His name Ken Surrey, but really I'm Ken Surrey. <laughs> okay? He's 700. He called Stunner, but really I'm 700. I'm Stunner. I was born in 700 Broadway. Okay? I came through the walls. I came down. I remember the conversation, pieces of it, that my mom had with the doctor. So look at this stuff, man. Look at this stuff. Okay? I am Look at that. It's still trying to show you the 34, 34, 34. This guy knows the end. This guy knows the end. Okay, now you're going to have to take a step of faith. You're going to have to take a step of faith because, look, I'm a good judge. I'm going to treat you how you treat me. If you don't step up right now, this is the best time for you to step up and embrace your Maddie. If you don't step up, I'm going to treat you accordingly. You can't be my friend when the money comes. You can't be my, my friend when my stuff blow up. You got to be my friend while I'm down and out. Okay? If you wasn't with me at my worst, then you can't see me at my best. I'm going to treat you accordingly. Now look at Master P. Master P. I'm going to show you how I'm the last Don. Let's go back to here. This dude name is Master P. That's really me. I'm people. I'm the father. Now look at his out. Look at him. Looking just like my dad. Just like my dad. I can't hate nobody that look like me. I'm sorry. This brother look just like my dad. Look just like me. Look at this. This album was called The Last Don. I'm the last ruler. I'm the last Don. Look at this. Even when I was in Christianity, everything is identifying me. And look, he has a brother 
by the name of Silk the Shocker. Okay, same thing. My world, my way. This is my planet. This is my world. This is my planet. Allah has entrusted it with me. All praises is due to him. I'm the shocker. I'm the stunner. And guess what? There's a Miss Stunner around here too. There's a Miss Stunner around here. Look, that's just like me and my brothers growing up. Me and my brothers, us two, that's in uh, Indiana. Okay, they're going to shock her. They're going to shock her. See murder. Oh, some people going to get murdered. Some people going to die. Some people going to die. Look at this. We got a Mexican woman as president now. We got Rose. A lot of y'all don't know who Rose is in the spirit. Y'all don't know yet. Okay, you got to catch up. Okay, you got to catch up. So, man, this stuff is amazing. Everything is pointing towards the last two witnesses. Al Matty, you can't knock me, bruh. Okay, you can't knock me, bro. I'm about to blow, bro. I'm about to blow. I am the Noah. The world is about to end 2034. Now I'm going to show you something else. This is going to be a bonus. This is going to be a bonus just because I like you. Okay? If you real. If you want, if you somebody who fake. No, nah, I don't want to mess with you. You somebody new that popped up. Okay. We might be able to do something. Okay? But here we go. Now watch this. I'm going to go to Isaiah 34. Now, you can't do this with every scripture in the Bible and all of this stuff. But let's just go to Isaiah 34. Because this is what I felt in my spirit today. This is Isaiah 34. Notice you can spell Isa in Isaiah. And think about what age was Jesus when his ministry began. He was 30 years old. How old was he when he died? He was 33. Ooh, wee, that's close. That's real close. Now, here we have Isa in here. Verse 1. Come near, ye nations, to hear, and hearken, ye people. Let the earth hear, and all that is therein, the world, and all things that come forth. Uh-oh, for of it. Now watch this. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations and his fury is upon all their armies. He have utterly destroyed them. He have delivered them to the slaughter. Look at this. I'm not done. Their slain also shall be cast out and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses and the mountains shall be melted with their blood. Almighty dies. And all the host of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll, and all the hosts shall fall down as the leaf falleth from off the vine, and as a falling fig from the tree. It's going down 34, man. It is going down. You, you can't escape it, bruh. You can't escape it. Now, these Arabs, if they really love Gaza, if they really want to do some damage to the Christian's kingdom, if they really want to see Islam come to the top, then they need to move fast. Here we have a man who right now is untouchable by death. Now, I'm going to put that up again a little bit so I can increase your faith. Let me go to my history. Let me show you what we just looked at earlier. Um, Help you out a little bit. Uh, where are we at? Uh, here we go. Let me find it. There we go. Let's put this back on the screen. Increase your faith. Here we have a man, y'all. This is what death is doing to me. This is what death is doing to Al Matty right now. Right now. Right now. Now, remember Jesus was tempted by the devil. The devil said, hey, jump off the cliff. If you really Al Matty, okay? Jesus wasn't Al Matty. He wasn't. He was really talking about that son. Who really is the father, Al Matty, 
Al Mahdi is the one whom the angels are going to uphold. Okay? They're going to uphold me. They're going to keep me intact until 34. Now, I got another story to tell you, and I'll leave y'all alone. All right. Now, this year, for the first time in my life, I had an accident on a tractor. I was coming home. I was coming home. Matter of fact, let me see if I can. I'm going to post it on here. I ain't got nothing to hide. I'm going to post it on here. It's all on video. It's all on video. And I'm going to show you all something real quick. This is going to be a bonus. Some of you all might get excited when you all see this. All right. I'm going to send something. To my Mac. And I'm going to let y'all see something real quick. Yeah, here it is. Alright, so now. I want to send something. To my Mac. Bang. Watch this. I'm going to show you better than I can tell you. For the first time in my life I got into a real accident where I uh, damaged get this my third and fourth meta torso wow wow okay now let's play this real quick I'm gonna let you see it Play it on something that would be nice to play it on. Here we go. Watch this. Watch this. That's me right there. That is me right there. Floyd's laughing at me and everything. <laughs> hey, I heard that too. Yeah, <laughs> Look at that, man. Look at this. Look at this. This is me. It slipped into neutral. Uh, it was the machine's fault. It slipped into neutral. I didn't use the emergency brake either. But this is what happened. Boom. Damaged my third and fourth meta torso. Okay, now watch this. I'm going to take you to one more scripture. I know I said I was done. Let's get this scripture. Let's go to Daniel. I'm going to show you. Daniel chapter 2. All this stuff is in the Bible. Everything, man. Daniel chapter 2. Look what it says. Let's go to verse 30. Uh, two. The image's head was of fine gold, his breast and his arms of silver, his belly and his thighs of brass, his legs of iron, his feet part of iron and part of clay. That's my last name. Thou sawest till that a stone was cut out without hands, which smote the image upon his feet that were of iron and clay and break them in pieces on the 34th verse. I broke my third and fourth metatorsal. Why? Because that's the year Al Matty dies. It is right here in the Bible. It is right here in the Bible. You can't hide. Okay? I am the Noah. My ministry, all those who are with me in my house, our ministry is going to be the most successful ministry you ever ever even heard about it's going to be like mcdonald's get it al Matty, mcdonald's it's going to be the like a fast food restaurant that just blows up why because i have real prophecy i am a real prophet i am really beloved of god all that stuff you've been talking about me everybody gonna tell on you okay they're gonna bring it up we're gonna we're gonna deal with that thing we we gonna deal with that thing Okay, we can't just let idle talk just, uh-uh, no, we got to deal with that. All of that garbage you've been spitting is going to fall in your face. Okay, because from this video alone, which should go viral, 
from everything I'm showing you and I still have more. You can't copy me. You can't try to steal my message. You can't do none of this stuff because it's all protected. It's all copywritten. Everything. Everything revolves around me being the real messenger, the real Noah who knows the end. Right on the 34th verse. Okay? This is real prophecy. I broke my third and fourth metatorsal. And I ain't never broke a bone in my body. Never. Okay? God didn't tell me why it happened that day. He let me know. I knew about it in September on the 16th when he told me I had nine years left. And then I did the map and I said, wow, that's year 34. And then I, I was like, oh. Everything was just convincing me. I was like, wow, and I broke my third and fourth metatorso. The God of the worlds is dealing with little old me. Wow. Okay, so there you have it. Share this video. Let's get this truth out. Bring that money. Bring my money. Bring my money in. I want my money. I want all my money. I am an heir. All this stuff belongs to me. All this stuff belongs to Al Matty. Okay? There ain't no reason. Ain't no reason why you ain't supposed to be given to whom it belongs. This is my kingdom. This is my earth. It all belongs to me. Okay? It's going to happen whether you help or not. Why? Because I'm divinely protected. And there's going to come a day. When something's going to happen, and I'm going to go viral. They're going to be like, dang, that brother just such and such. And, and it's just going to explode. However Allah does it. However Allah does it. However he does it. I just feel that something is going to happen with me or the other witness that's going to go viral. Okay? Because we're just like this thing right here. Let me show you again. Let me show you. We just like this thing right here. We just like this. Just like this, the precious blood, the innocent blood. Now you understand why the real, you know, they say the blood of Jesus, the blood. This is the real blood, the real blood of Christ, the real blood of the lamb that was slain from the foundations of the world. OK, I'm going to I'm going to be divinely protected. And every time I look at this, sometimes I just sit there and I look at it. And it just gives me so much faith because I am the Noah's eight. I am the Heth. I am the Uriah who is sleeping at David's doorpost. I am my, my blood is the blood of the lamb. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the real truth.